Recently, I got this awesome kit from Sun Founder called P Iron Man. This kit is really awesome is it has a lot of valuable components for your Raspberry Pi 4. In this guide, I will show you how you can build a customized mini PC using Raspberry Pi 4 and Sun Founder P Iron Man mini PC kit. You only need to connect the screen, mouse and keyboard and you can use it for project, entertainment and office. The kit has a tower cooler for Raspberry Pi. It also has an RGB fan along with 16 WS2812 addressable RGB LEDs. You can set off any awesome color effect you want. The OLED display shows the CPU usage, temperature, disk usage, IP address and RAM usage. In this video, I will show you the list of components and the assembly process for building this PC. I will also show you to set up the system using Python script. So let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good? Then use the services of Next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCB could be from two up to thirty-two layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And this is the PCB in a couple of days. Now, let me unbox this kit and show you what is inside the box. On the box, you can see all these specifications. Inside the box, the first thing you will see is the assembly manual. I will come to this assembly manual later on. The box has an acrylic transparent case and all the components like a heat sink, cables, OLED, connectors, screws, bolts, LED strip, screwdriver, thermal pad, main board and metallic frame. The metallic frame is an aluminium body where we put all the components together. It has a hole for a camera, USB, LAN, power. SSD and micro SD. P Iron Man is printed at the top along with the logo. The first thing I would do, I remove this paper to get a crystal clear transparent display. Finally, you can see the hole for the fan and holes for power, HDMI and audio. We also have another acrylic glass case. We need to remove the covering from here as well. So a GPIO port in the case is visible now. This is the main board for this product. The top side and bottom side of this board have expansion boards and components to use with Raspberry Pi. This is a Type-C USB port. Another USB port is also here for SSD. An SD card slot. An expansion slot and also the GPIO extend connector. These are the GPIO ports for external peripherals connections, pins for RGB LED strip, some power jumpers, IR LED to use with IR remote. You can follow this board diagram to learn more about this board. This is an aluminium head sink that works as a tower and is installed on the top of the processor. This is an RGB fan with a GPIO control function. A switch with LED from outside is used as a power button to turn on or shut down the system. The working status of the cooling fan is decided by the CPU temperature. This is the expandable GPIO connector. And this connector is for M.2 SATA SSD for connecting the external SSD disk. This is the Raspad micro SD card for easing the SD card positions. Some FC cables for connecting Raspberry Pi peripherals. The 0.96 inches OLED display shows CPU usage, temperature, disk usage, IP address, and RAM usage. Two thermal pads will be placed on the main CPU. The M2.5 nuts and bolts for assembling all the components together. Some supportive frames for the supporting and holding up the tower cooler. The screw tightener is as usual 
and finally the WS2812B RGB LED strip. The most important thing that you need is a Raspberry Pi 4 board. This kit is only designed for Raspberry Pi 4. So other versions of Raspberry Pi are incompatible. Along with Raspberry Pi, you also need a 16GB or 32GB SD card. You also need a keyboard, mouse and monitor with this Raspberry Pi. Finally, all these components can be assembled together to form a Raspberry Pi 4 mini personal computer. So, let's begin with the hardware assembly now. The assembly manual is very well written and all the diagrammatic views will help you to assemble components easily. It has 4 pages and if you follow all images and written instruction step by step, it will be easy for you to assemble the mini PC. So let's begin with the assembly now.
So the final assembly is ready. The casing looks like an awesome CPU. Literally the ports for USB, LAN, power, SSD and micro SD is here to be connected with external peripherals. The use of this OLED and power button we will see in a few minutes now. One thing is left. I need to connect this adapter. This is for external SATA SSD. Let us set up the software now. We need a micro SD adapter or a card reader for this. Put an SD card into it and plug it into your computer. Visit the official Raspberry Pi website. Download Raspberry Pi Imager. Once downloaded, do the installation. Select the latest Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. Select the SD card edge storage. Click on the setting option and set your host name. Also, enable SSH. Set the username and password. Enable LAN configuration and set the Wi-Fi and password. Select your region, time zone and other settings. Click on save and then click on write. Once OS is loaded in SD card, insert it into the Raspberry Pi 4 SD card slot. Now, it is time to connect the keyboard, mouse and monitor. You can use any monitor or any display whatever you want. First, connect the HDMI cable then your mouse and keyboard. Finally, use a 5V 3A power adapter to power the system. The Raspberry Pi will boot up and the monitor will appear as this. So the system is ready and you can use the terminal to install various libraries and dependencies. Open the terminal now. You need to paste the following command and open a config file. Slide down and add these two lines at the bottom. Save the file and exit. Now we need to clone the pironman repository. Change the directory now. Then install the python here. Once all the files get downloaded, the pironman will start. You will see this automatically on the OLED screen. The OLED will show CPU usage, temperature available RAM and ROM. It will also show the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. To view all the commands and method to set up different functionality in your Pironman PC, you can follow the guide on the website How to Electronics. All the instructions are written and explained very clearly. The list of all commands for your Linux PC is posted there. You may follow the guide from the SunFounder website as well. Coming back to the mini PC part, the OLED will go to sleep mode after 60 seconds to save power. You can give a long press to this power button. The system will shut down from here. In case you need to start the system again, press the power button again. It will take a few seconds and it will again boot off. The casing is amazing and looks beautiful because of the light show of the RGB LED strip. You can set various effects of the lights like fading, rolling, breathing, flow and raise up. You can change the temperature unit from degree Celsius to Fahrenheit as well. You can set the threshold temperature to turn on the RGB fan. When the temperature of the CPU goes above the set value, the fan will automatically start in order to cool down the heat sink. Using the command from the terminal, you can change the color of the RGB LED strip and set it to any color using the hex code value. For me, I would like to use the default pink color which is my favorite color. You may use the SSD with this system which detailed guide is given on our website. That is all from the video today. You can officially visit the SunFounder website and purchase this product. The link for the SunFounder website and the official Amazon link are given in the description.